Longsight takes a toke on her cigarette, sits on the concrete bench outside the library and asks, is that you on the poster? Yes, I laugh, but it doesn't look like me, right? I'm here to study me, she says, got a 14 year old son. I tell her I have four and she looks to the floor. Tells me how she really wants to learn how to sign so she can communicate with her boy better. She rummages around in her bag, proudly pulls out a level one English certificate in her hand. We laugh, congratulate, our hands high five. The whole morning sun caught as a glint in her eyes. As a young mum, I tell her, the only certificate I ever achieved was as a Home Start volunteer and no one employed me. What do you do now, she asks. I point to the poster and say, I write. And she grins at me, her heart swelling with pride. And we connect in that quiet way mothers do, as struggling women do, as strong survivors do, working out how to approach a stranger sat on a concrete bench, one dragging hard on a cigarette, the other staring at her own face on a poster. I cock my head and say, well done Longsight, you did good. Maybe I'll see you signing for Stormzy at Glastonbury someday. She pulls her head back, lets out a roar of laughter and says, don't be daft, I can't dance. Longsight specialises in the presence of absence not wanting questions but conversations, willing to share what's learnt if I put my notebook away, letting me know I am entitled to the knowledge his mother paid for back in the day. Longsight is monasteries and Franciscan missions, is community spirit and secret right-wingers, it's questionable councils and rich landlords, it's changing demographics with a history of turf wars, it's tough love and complex equations. Longsight sits at the table in a crisp pinstripe shirt on this occasion. A pristine cuff hides a watch from the military. You won't see one of these so easily. Slight of hand, once deft with a fencer's sword. Gestures while quoting the Bible, though he's not religious anymore. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do, sharing his experience as a sermon of truth. The monastery made me, you know, it did not break me. An intelligent young man I was when I joined the army. We talk children and travel, share our different hats. Longsight notes, we're talking about me, and I don't do that. He negotiates, questions, watches for vacant spaces, reads you like a marksman, studies the movement of faces. Longsight quick fires rounds of thoughts like a black powder mother of pearl revolver. So fast I miss some and he clocks me. This is my life, he says, and Longsight demands attention. Longsight is a no men allowed building, sanctuary of safety, with red, green and orange silked boss women in saris. Gold bangles clink as their chatter fills the air and one by one they take up a chair. Till Longsight sits around the table with me, fingers deep in spicy hot janeer, pickled mangoes and puris, telling me it doesn't matter how far out you go, everyone comes back to Longsight, it's home. Journeys from Dhaka to Italy to Longsight, weddings, funerals, activists putting the world to rights. It's laughter, pitter parties, best dress competitions. It's nimble fingered dessert chefs baking breakfast traditions. It's business women and matriarchs with jasmine flowered hair taking selfies, dancing, playing strategic musical chairs. Longsight is where the friends you make become your family. It's close knit and it's nosy, but we'll take that willingly. Longsight, when it needs to, knocks against our door, but we know in our bones there is always generous support. The streets feel safe for us and we prefer the local schools and you just can't beat the market, the shops, the library, the food. Longsight is Cool Runnings, Kanafa, Northmore Cafe and Unmall. It's Crowcroft Park, Stockport Road, the 192 and Plymouth Grove. A place to hide, a rest from war, it's the M12 and M13. With a library that's an active island, for some, the only place for peace. Near the entrance of the library, long sites sit together, debating world politics, heads deep in newspaper. They huddle around the wiser, silent elder of the group. If he sits, they sit. If he leaves, they all do. Longsight doesn't hear their voices, but Kaufman gave them time. 
remembering the respect he showed them long before he died. These men are philosophers, teachers, retired pharmacists and activists, Muhammad Rafi Ghazal singers and Alama Iqbal poets, with fathers that taught them to eat less and study more, then teach and help others to get to where they want to go. They will draw out directions for you, get clear instructions from their phones, hidden cartographers making sure people reach their homes. Long sites waiting lists are long and the streets are full of rubbish and the roads are all broken and the drugs are a huge problem. But the people are the people. The people are A to Z. And this library here is peace, is tolerance, is respect. Here we read in our own language, build community with our bare hands. We even made that Pakistani community centre from derelict wasteland. We did that. Yeah. We did that. Longsight sits at the computer in mismatched shoes, big blue eyes and tuzzled blonde hair, small cards attached to her arm with string. Happiness is having your bare necessities so you feel complete. She tells me, asking me to help her write her CV. Longsight is an oracle I want to learn from, a prophetic wisdom each time she speaks. Autonomous and proud, she writes me a poem in my book then asks if I can help with housing, bus tickets and food. Will you come swimming with me to Levenshoom Pool? She says she bought a steaming hot curry yesterday. Fresh, smelt beautiful, dead good from a local takeaway. Suddenly, thinking the meal might be a trick, she throws it away without eating any of it. I pull my chair closer, suggest we get food from across the road. I do get hungry, Longsight says, and if I don't eat, I'll smoke. So I'd like that. Yeah, let's go. Longsight works, is social, starts fresh in a newfound home. Longsight is thick skinned and often resilient to the cold. Longsight is a prince from Verona, Italy, fluent in Italian, Spanish, Dutch, but these three mean nothing if you can't speak English in the UK. I ran somewhere for a job the other day. But the woman put the phone down on me before I could even say, I just need you to speak a little slower. If you can just be a little patient, just wait. Longsight's forced to fix his English while his mother tongue assimilates. Longsight feeds its people, communal cooking in volunteer kitchens. Longsight is Jamaican, Ghanaian, Cape Verdean, Venezuelan. Longsight speaks Gujarati, Polish, Creole, Spanish, Arabic and Portuguese. It passes maths and English juggling kids and masters cookery. Pay what you can afford, they say. Make their recipes with love. A place for friends to gather with respect that they deserve. Longsight is a phenomenal woman, a professor retiring in a year. She's from the Caribbean, her fondest memories located there. At least there I'm respected, here they just see skin. For that reason, I don't bother with British citizenship. That's me, my land where I'm valued and belong, before you tell me to go back to where I came from. Remember you were there, and that's why we're here. I know who I am, I know my rights, I know I'm not illegal anywhere. They kept my passport for three months, but I just laughed in their face. They can't mess with me when they themselves are so disgraced. Windrush scandal is all I have to say. Longsight is a community hall, the kids and energy unbound, playing bulldog, doing the hype, kicking a football around. It's Uncle Ricky playing old school, hip hop, rap, grime and R&B. It's dominoes in the corner, keeping the kids and elders busy. Longsight puts on a front, chest puffed out, perched at the edge of the stage, sullen and quiet watching the other kids play. Kicked out of school, he doesn't want to speak, till the speakers blare a tune he likes, his fingers drumming to a beat. Longsight's not so heavy now, he takes a breath and jumps off stage, his four siblings watching as he runs off to join the game. Longsight has a Persian name with one foot rooted in the ground. All I need within a one mile reach, she says, I don't have to look around. I'm a compass, always on the lookout for people who look like me. She quotes poets that she loves, Fez, Bervin Shakir, Bulle Shah and Rumi. We're all travellers here, just passing through our many homes. Longsight is that one place where we're all trying to get along. Longsight grips a metre ruler to tear red silk from a fabric roll. 
serves the auntie waiting to stitch her daughter's graduation clothes. Going back 20 years, my dad worked this market stall and I've seen so many people through Longsight come and go. First it was the Africans and the Irish here together. I heard Jamaican mothers carried their sewing machines securely tethered. Mothers taught the daughters sewing, a gift that they passed down, bought many yards of cotton to make skirts and tops and their head ties. When they left for Hume, I measured fabric lengths for saris, batiala shalvars, gamizes, dubuttas, abayas and churidars. This market is a thriving one. Bric-a-brac, jewellery, velvet blankets, pots and pans, fancy shoes, leather bags, root and veg and all things second hand. If ever this market were to shut down or take flight, make no mistake about it, it would rip the heart out of Longsight. Longsight is deceivingly rich and breadline poor, it's thriving business, it's wealthy landlords, it's professional immigrants, it's a powerful collective. Longsight is innovative, dynamic and creative. Longsight is to cast a long sight towards history. It's the best you'll get for a diverse community. Brimming with talented people, young and old, it deserves investment. It deserves love tenfold. Longside is Kimberly, Afsana, Paul and Walid, Lutfer, Pavia, Kofi and Mosi, Suzanne, Amira, Silam, Jan, Yona, Ali, Nassim, Barbara, Hanan. It's Prince, Suheb, Vera, Famida, Joe and Layla, Violet, Talisha, Yasin, Shifta, Rosie, Tasneem and Safda, it's Afzal, Nasima, Ricky and Oscar. Long Sight casts a long sight over its people. For what is long sight if not its people?